Hey, how's it going guys? DeAndre Jones here, back at another video. Today we're going over the Kong Vault. Now, I know I've done Kong Vault tutorials before in the past, and you can definitely check those out if you want. Those are very useful and resourceful, and it'll help you get a Kong Vault. But this is gonna be the part one to a series I'm gonna kinda do over the Kong Vault. So we're gonna learn the Kong Vault, we're gonna learn the uh, Kong Cat, Kong Precision, how to get more distance, and then double Kongs. So uh, this is part one of the series. This is just how to do the Kong Vault. So if you wanna learn how to do the Kong Vault, I know it can be really frustrating. It's one of the most frustrating movements in parkour. You found the right video. Let's get started. All right, guys, so step one, how do we enter into the Kong? We wanna start from the beginning and work our way through each step individually. That way we fully understand how to do a Kong Vault, okay? So there's two entries into the Kong Vault, okay? One is a punch technique, which looks like this. You punch, up and over. I punched both my feet out of the ground at the same time, went over the obstacle in the Kong Vault. The second technique, which is the better technique, is the split leg approach. So besides punching, your feet are gonna take more of a gallop, staggered approach into the Kong, okay? And I'm gonna show you what it looks like really fast. So you're gonna go, staggered. Boom. As you can see, my feet are staggered whenever I go into that Kong Vault. And the reason why you want to learn that one is because that one transfers more into the other movements than the punch technique. Um, like the punch technique is more used if like it is a wall that's really tall and you need that added height to get over the wall. But as you start to get better, you want to start going into the staggered approach. And for the sake of this series, I'm only going to teach you the staggered approach from the get-go. So you're already on the right foot. So whenever we go into the Kong Cat, uh, getting more distance, Kong Freeze, and Double Kong, you'll be set up right from the get-go and you'll be able to do those movements very easily. So how do we learn the split leg approach? Because that's the first thing you want to practice, the split leg approach. And I actually found this method from Origin Parkour Channel, which is a really good method. What you want to do is go into a lunge position, like a really close lunge, like this, one foot up, and then your knee, um, and then one knee down, okay? And you're going to place your knee next to your foot, you're going to stand up, boom. That is your staggered step approach right there, okay? And now what, you, what I want you to do is practice is going up into the Kong um, just from a standing position, just like this. So you're gonna lean back, toe, the, your front foot, your toe's gonna be up, and you're gonna and then let yourself back down. So notice I'm not trying to bring my knees into my chest. I'm more focused on bringing my hips up than my knees going into my chest. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show you later. We're gonna do this again. Up, let yourself back down. Do it again, lean back. Step up, let yourself back down. After that, you're gonna take a step back with your lead leg, you're gonna go into it again. So now you're gonna take a step forward, lean up, back up. Take this leg, move it back, do it again. Boom, perfect, super, super easy. Once you get used to that, we're gonna take two steps back. So your lead leg's gonna go back, your second leg's gonna go back, and then we're gonna go into it again. And it's gonna be like a quick gallop motion. Take two steps back, do it again. Hips up, let yourself back down, all right? That is part one. Okay, step two. It's gonna look similar to step one, but besides just simply bringing our hips up, we're gonna try to bring our hips up and our knees to our chest and then lower ourselves down again, okay? This is also a great drill because it helps you um, develop the strength to be able to hold yourself on your hands. So when, once you get to this point, you'll be able to realize if you're strong enough to actually hold yourself into the Kong position. And if you can, that's great. You're in a great position to learn how to do the Kong. If you can't, it's still okay. Just keep working on this and you'll develop the strength to be able to go into the Kong. So we're gonna go into that lunge position like I said earlier. You're gonna stand up. You're gonna take one step back. And then we're gonna lift our hips up whenever we go into the Kong, plus bring our knees to our chest. Same thing. Uh, after you've gotten used to that, we're gonna take two steps back. One, two, we're gonna go into it again. Stagger step, knees up, let ourselves back down. Two steps back, go back into it. Boom, that is step two, okay? After that, step three, we're gonna do what is called a monkey plant, okay? Now this doesn't transfer directly into the Kong Vault. There is still slight differences between the monkey plant and the Kong Vault, but this is just to get you used, um, to get you over the fear of actually actively trying to get your knees over the wall. Cause it can be kind of scary. A lot of people are afraid of bashing their knee up against the wall and they kind of need more information, more proof for their brain just to settle their, their mind state down. And they can actually do this without as much fear. So a monkey plan is essentially, you're gonna go into the Kong, lift your, lift your hips up, lift your knees to your chest, and then you're gonna 
plant your feet on top of the wall and stand up, okay? So do like this. You're gonna go on your staggered approach, take two steps back, one, two, you're gonna go into it, lift your hips up, lift your knees to your chest, plant your feet on top of the wall. Boom. Once you got into that, you'll probably start feeling very confident. You're like, okay, I think I can do it. I think I can actually do the Kong ball. But before you do that, I wanna show you the difference between the monkey plant and the Kong and why they don't exactly correlate. Even though the monkey plant is great for getting over the fear of bringing your knees up to your chest over the obstacle, you're actually opening up in the Kong too early. You wanna be in this position the whole time you're passing over the wall, okay? If you at some point can see your feet going over the wall whenever you do the Kong ball, then you opened up too early. And when you do that, it's gonna look like this. And a lot of people do this all the time, a lot of my students. They'll go into it and they'll do this. They're like, open up too early and they'll fall back like this, okay? Or they'll do what is called a cash vault, which isn't a Kong, but it is a variant of the Kong. And that looks like this. They'll go into it like this. Okay? And that is a different vault than the Kong vault. It's actually a mixture between the Kong vault and the dash vault. And we'll go into that a little bit later. But that's not the Kong vault, okay? The reason why you want to, the reason why there's a difference between the monkey plant and the Kong is because you're actually just gonna be in this position a lot longer passing over the obstacle, okay? You're not gonna see your feet until your body has completely passed over the obstacle and you're about to land. And I'll give you an example. Boom. Okay, I can't see my feet until I'm already over the obstacle. About the time I see my feet, I'm already passing over the obstacle and I'm about to land. And that is the main difference between the monkey plant and the Kong. If you can just remember to keep your knees tucked into your chest and your hips back as you pass through, and then after you pass through, you let yourself down. If you can just master that difference, you'll be able to transfer the monkey plant into the Kong vault. All right, so by now, if you have gotten uh, the Kong vault, uh, you're pretty much in the right position that you need to be in. I do have one more tip, and that is what your arms do. So on the monkey plant, our arms are kind of planting on the wall and just pushing up to let our feet uh, on top of the wall. When you're actually doing a Kong, you want to start getting more distance. You want to get used to planting your hands, and pushing them up, and then behind you, okay? And that's going to get you used to getting distance out of the Kong, okay? And actually putting power. So I'm going to give you an example. You're going to go back into your staggered approach, go back two steps, and you're going to go into it, and push over. As you see, as I push, my arms are flying out behind me, and that is to help you get more distance. And that's how you start getting more distance into the Kong ball, all right? So, this is the first video of the Kong Vault. I hope you guys get it. If you have any more questions, let me know in the description down below. And I'll see you next week when we start discussing how to get more distance out of the Kong because there are a few more tips I can give you. And then after that, we'll start getting to the fun stuff. So train hard, be safe, get that Kong Vault, guys. Deuces. Hey guys, don't forget about the tips and tricks that are in the links below. There's a ton of goodies down there. I just want to remind you guys, check out the description. There's a ton of links down there if you need more tips and tricks on the Kong and other movements as well. Um, train hard, be safe. Catch you next time, guys.